Here we have a ladder that is supported by the wall and the floor as shown. For the position shown velocity of end B of the ladder is 2 meters per second. We are interested in finding velocity of top point A. Observe that this is a dependent motion problem since motion of point A depends on motion of point B. Uh, if you have a constraint equation and have a relationship between positions of the moving points, we can take a derivative and find a velocity relationship. Uh, so let's designate position of point B as x and position of end A as y. Let's let length of the ladder as L, which can be found for the position shown as 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 5 meters. And since we have a right triangle, we can write the constraint equation using the Pythagorean theorem as x squared plus y squared equal to L squared. If you take a time derivative of both sides of this equation, uh, we have 2x x dot plus 2y y dot equal to, since the length L is constant, this is equal to 0. I can simplify this equation and solve it for y dot, which is actually derivative of position of a which by definition is va so if i solve this equation for y dot uh, i'm gonna get minus x over y x dot and if we plug in the given data for the position shown va will be minus x which is 3 over y which is 4 times x dot or vb observe that x dot is change of position of b which by definition is vb or 2 meters per second so solving this for va we're gonna have va equal to minus uh, 6 divided by 4 is 1 and a half meters Per second. Note that the negative sign indicates that position y is decreasing or uh, it indicates velocity of a is downward. Uh, in this problem, if you're interested in uh, finding the angular speed of the ladder, we can uh, identify some angular position like this angle theta and write a relationship to get a position equation involving theta for example i can write sine of theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse or x equals to l sine of theta taking a time derivative of this equation um, will yield the angular speed of the ladder therefore we can write x dot equal to um, equal to l times derivative of sine of u is u prime cosine of u therefore I have theta dot cosine of theta. Solving this equation for theta or angular speed of the ladder omega will get x dot over L cosine of theta. And numerically, we can find omega as 2 meters per second over 5 times cosine of theta which is adjacent over hypotenuse and this gives a 
angular speed of one half of radians per second. If you're interested in finding accelerations, we can find another derivative of the of the velocity equations and solve for the desired acceleration.